Did you know that all flame wrasses start out as female? Well, that's a fact for you. What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm a marine biologist and an artist and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my passion of the ocean and its creatures with you through art. If you are new here, welcome. This place is for everyone who loves adventure, discoveries, and connecting with nature. If you are returning, it is great to see you. Thank you so much for coming back. Today we're going to be discovering the flame wrasse. More specifically, the male flame wrasse. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The flame wrasse, also known as the flame fairy wrasse or Jordan's fairy wrasse, is found in Hawaii. This means it is endemic to Hawaii and not located anywhere else. They prefer drop-off areas near reefs and rocky slopes. This is a fish you need to see while scuba diving or in an aquarium. Their depth range is from 12 to 186 meters deep or 39 to 610 feet deep. The male and female flame wrasses look different. This video will focus on the males but I still want you to know the difference between them. Let's start with the females. They grow to three inches long. They have red along their dorsal fins with a pink body and a yellow face. They form schools of many females to a few males. There is one male per one to two dozen females. If a male is missing from the school, the largest female becomes the male in four to six weeks. The males are larger in size and grow to 4 inches long. They are brightly colored, they have a red on their dorsal, ventral, and caudal surfaces. They have bright yellow along the sides and their face. These fish look like they are on fire, or look like a Hawaiian sunset. They have soft dorsal rays lining the whole dorsal surface. Their tail is rounded and meets a line of anal fin rays. These fish can increase their size for displays or decrease them by moving the fins. So, if you have been around for a few videos, you know I have featured wrasse several times on this channel. Do you think the flame wrasse has a similar body type to the other wrasse species? Yes. They have a similar body type to the other wrasses. I would consider them to have a torpedo body. This body type is great for swimming and cruising. One major difference in appearance from the other wrasse species is that the flame wrasse has large decorative dorsal and anal fins. Although they are small, the flame wrasse has sharp teeth like all wrasse species. This brings us to the segment where we discover the diet and status of the flame wrasse. What do they eat? Wrasse are trawlers and eat many different things. They pick up bits of algae, shrimp, crustaceans, small fish, eggs, and some mollusks. Their sharp teeth grab the prey, and then the pharyngeal teeth do the crushing of the hard bits. If you don't know what pharyngeal teeth are, that is alright. Many people don't. I would be surprised if you did, actually. They are teeth that lie in the throat that are used for crushing material. This aids in indigestion. How are the flame wrasses doing? The IUCN Red List has them listed as least concern. This study was conducted in 2010. The wild range of flame wrasses is in the Hawaiian Islands, safe inside of a marine sanctuary. This fish is used in the aquarium trade. They are beautiful, hardy fish that love being in community tanks. These fish are expensive and that helps regulate their distribution. It is great to hear that they are doing well. It means many more people can see this fish. This brings us to the per my personal story segment of the adventure. What was my encounter with this animal? This fish was in a large tank in the Maui Ocean Center. They have a ton of animals on display for such a tiny aquarium. This tank is towards the end of the fish exhibits. The next area is the sharks and rays. It is really easy to run past them. I loved watching this fish swim in its tank. The tank was labeled Male Flame Wrasse. It had a picture showing the difference between males and females. This fish was swimming in its encounter, minding its own business, 
Some fish seem to be nervous or anxious and they swim back and forth. This one was calm and collected, almost regal. But being someone who is snap happy when it comes to fish, I had, a, I had to share this animal with you. It is an amazingly beautiful fish. I find most fish to be interesting, but this one can be enjoyed by everyone. I hope I can capture the likeness on canvas. With that, I will call this adventure finished. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. It means so much that you take time out of your schedule to watch this video. If I deserve it, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell right next to it. This will alert you to every time that I post a new video. I've been trying to post videos every Saturday and Tuesday, but it's just a little bit too much for me right now, so I'm going to switch Tuesday's videos onto my Patreon. Links can be found below where you can go to my Patreon page, Teespring shop where I sell merchandise, t-shirts, leggings for the ladies, everything, like, I'm coming out with new designs constantly, uh, as well as my social media. On my social, I use my Instagram most of the time, so if you want to connect with me there, that's where you can do that. I also sell my, my art in forms of the originals, as well as prints, really high quality prints. If you would like one, if you would like to purchase one, just send me an email, that's also in the description. I've been Brandon, and I will see you in our next adventure.